CTG. Um, so he's going to be playing EG. Yeah, and EG who got in on a tiebreaker uh, with uh, Preston and Beef, just getting in on uh, actually game count. Wow. Um, and these two, they've uh, they've had a few matches this past year. EG's kept it close here and there, but has not been able to take a set off Shears yet. Yeah. Bit of a bracket demon, despite having similar results otherwise. Interesting. And e EG, I mean, I, I played him, and he was he was fierce, very very good, smart player, uh, technical, and nice approaches. DI. Shears down a stock here after that standard. Let's see if he can make up for it. And Shears keeping it simple. Uh, no fluffs there, just going to keep it easy. Holding ledge, very comfortable there. Might be looking for a parry, and there it is. Yeah, that. Oh, and let's see. Oh, nice Nair. I, I, I didn't know if he was going to go for the forward air. I think that EG would have been able to DI onto the stage. Yeah, and uh, EG just like, just the way he turned that situation around, it looked so bad for him. Uh, not a moment sooner. Just pops out that Nair and just so good at those conversions. And we're just a minute into this first game, and so quickly this, this match is flying by. Yeah, two stocks apiece. Yeah, we're halfway done. A minute and 10 seconds in. And uh, Shears tries to challenge uh, EG on top plat. Uh, I think he'll have a better chance just uh, trying to engage on the ground. An up smash out of shield. It's There's nice. that up B. Yeah. It's really good for a against a recovering Yoshi. Yeah, not too much Yoshi can do about it. Um, sometimes you can the Yoshi can pop out the Nair to challenge it, but most Yoshis would not want to risk that off stage. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you'd have to really read it because otherwise, if you if you trade hits and it's not it's not a uh, an up B, then you're going to lose that stock. Oh, but Shears just keeping on the pressure here. Yeah, EG not in a great position, but somehow weaves his way back to center stage. Yeah, he was able to get a shield up on time before. And it's just looking like it's going to be a stock. Yep. And this is anybody's match here. 64 percent. <laughs> That's a good percentage. Lucky percentage in this game. So. And I like how EG's using the platforms here. Uh, Shears can get hits, but can't quite convert the way he can uh, on the ground. And that's going to be it. Jump. Yeah, he didn't land. And I don't know why Shears went so far in there. You have to, you know, as Yoshi, he uses his double jumps to get back. And he kind of, he was approaching EG, but he had plenty of space to just sort of land on the on the side of the plat or side of the stage rather. Yeah. On the left side there. And maybe even just a little bit of a weave back instead of going all the way towards EG. Uh, yeah. could have given him a second lease on life. Exactly, but he's gonna have to make up for it in game two here. And this this is a best of five, I believe, right? Yes. The whole top eight is best of five. I think Shears oh he doesn't have a jump. Yeah. I think EG knew it, you know, he used that Nair and just covered that uh the edge. Cheers, yeah, he was saying before that he hasn't lost to EG, but he wasn't looking forward to playing him. Yeah, they always have... Uh, <laughs> Cheers is always the first one to talk about why Hori should be banned, and it's usually <laughs> after watching EG play. With that DI? Yep. <laughs> Cheers will ban anything that he doesn't use. <laughs> or that he loses to. <laughs> no steel sticks either, right? Oh, yeah, he doesn't use a steel stick, does he? I don't think so. And EG again, just a couple uppers after that grab. That's all it's going to take. Oh, and great jabs. And he's probably just going to start, uh, oh no. And EG uh, waiting Ooh. for the tech, just a little late on yeah. it. Yeah. Shears uh, another shot here. It's going to be tough for EG to get back, and Shears knows exactly where he wants to go. Yeah, he's really good at placing those eggs, and, and Yoshi's can place those eggs really nicely and sort of force you to have to either hit them or go around them and then uh, kind of close off some of those uh, those lanes that you can take back to the stage and make it a little easier for them to edge guard, even if they don't hit you with the egg. Yeah, and, um, you know, sometimes that's all it takes is uh, for edge guarding. You don't have to hit your opponent. You just have to force them to a position where uh, they really just don't want to be. Exactly. Let's see if he can get a forward air here. Oh, oh man. And Shears oh. was so persistent with those F tilts, and it was the right idea, but just didn't convert when he needed to. Yeah, and he used an extra F tilt there. I think, you know, he wanted to make sure that he pushed EG far out enough that uh, he couldn't get that crazy DI on the forward air, which, of course, EG would have been trying for to survive, but just kind of flubbed it after the second F tilt. Yeah, um, just we saw the right idea there, but uh, unfortunate to see the little bit of flub in execution. Yeah.
Oh, so. I like the way that EG just floats out that uh, Nair. Um, kind of challenging Shears to get a perfect uh, super armor, uh, you know, to trade the hit. Mm. EG now with the... Uh putting on the offense after Shears kind of thought he was, he hits him up toward the platform and he didn't think that uh, EG was going to be able to tech on the platform. So we followed up with a short hop. Let's see. Oh, man. All right, so he gets a dash attack to cover the edge there. Yeah, Shears really likes that dash attack for um, uh, edge guarding. I don't think it's always the best option, but it is the one he's most familiar with, I think. Yeah. Oh, and no jump here. Yeah, and Shears with a bad decision there. Uh, while EG was shielding on the platform, he tried a couple up tilts, um, and he was late on attack on that up tilt as well. And then he ends up pushing EG off the platform, and EG was ready for it. Oh, and there's that, that forwarder there. that we missed uh, the game before. Yeah, so finally able to convert on that. Good, good super armor. Oh, waits out the tech that time. Very smart. Yeah, and he got the timing better this time. Last time he missed that. And that was that, that situation I was mentioning with the... Uh, the push off of uh, EG and Shield on the plat. Oh, and a great up smash. Yeah, and again, no jump here for Shears. Unfortunate. Like, I mean, that's a, you're kind of walking a thin line with Yoshi. Uh, those super armor and parries can go a long way, but just slightly being off timing can just cost you your stock. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of a glass cannon. Yeah. Depending on the player, it just looks more like cannon, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers, knowing uh, he doesn't have to do anything too crazy for that edge guard and brings it down to a stock apiece. Yeah, and Cheers could be on his last stock uh, in the winner's side here, so he's, he really wants to do what he can to take this game and not go, not lose 3-0. Oh, and that was a perfect super armor. Barely misses uh, the tag, kind of having the right idea. Oh, great parry there. Parried that grab. And Cheers just really wants to put him off stage. Yeah, Shears floats that Nair, and he's got to be careful with that. That was one of those situations where... Oh! oh wrong. Great positioning from EG. Oh, and a oh. bad down B from EG. He thought it was going to... Yeah, maybe if he started a little bit higher, uh, he could have got what he wanted. Um, but still, with uh, two games of play with EG, uh, if, he keeps his level he if he keeps his head level, I, I don't think he'll have a problem taking the next... At least one of the next two games. Yeah, it was close enough that yeah. it could have gone his way. But on Shears' end, uh, I mean, he, his neutral looked a lot better that game. Yeah. Um, I think uh, considering it was like he won the game while having those SDs, uh, yeah. it's and been looking of, good. Sort of some tech flubs before as well Yeah, that he kind of made up for. And his timing, he's, he's warming up. His timing's getting a bit, bit better on uh, tech chases as well. Yeah, good conversion there from EG. Oh, and a nice Nair, and you know, sometimes you have to go for it as Yoshi coming back. You can't just float back in, because his super armor wasn't going to save him there if he did trade a hit, or take a hit anyway, so. Yeah. But he loses his first stock despite it. And Shears is not really giving uh, EG much room to breathe whenever he's on the ledge anymore. But Ooh, he slips I in I think he might have jumped. I think he might have. Okay, well, he's all right. He manages to tech on the platform. Oh, and I think he wanted to drop through. Ooh, the shield break. Yeah, it's going to be a stock. And he rolled instead of kind of, I think, I don't know if he wanted to come out of shield and do a running plat drop to attack. Oh, that F tilt. Oh. Yeah. He had no jump. He shouldn't have forward aired. He might have been able to grab the stage there. So this is looking like a, a brutal last game. Oh, barely misses that downer. Uh, might have sealed it. Not sure at that percent. Um, but EG still. You know, still got a lot of socks to play with here. Oh, and great back air. Kind of slipping that in between the two hits of the forward air. Shears manages to get get a stock off. And you, we know that stocks can evaporate very quickly. As, <laughs> as especially if a hit yeah. like this. But it's going to be very tough for Shears to get back in this. That's going to do it. Dang. Nice combo. The up air to the down air. And EG's looking.